Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. Uh, if you are a subscriber, welcome back. I'm happy to chat with you guys today. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got an eighth grader, fourth grader, kindergartner, and pre k -er. And on this channel, I usually talk to you guys about secular homeschooling, but I also share just, you know, generally our life with you guys. So today's video is going to be my monthly, um, end of the month recap. I try to do this pretty much every month. Sometimes I get to it and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have just so much content I want to bring you and there's not enough room in the schedule. So uh, let's see. Today, uh, this video is for February um, 2024. So let's dive in. Before we go any further, I would love it if you would head on down and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us YouTubers out when you guys give us those thumbs up. And so, um, yeah, so let's, uh, I typically do these videos in three parts. So, um, homeschool, personal life, and business life for me. Um, I'm gonna start with business life because there really wasn't a lot going on. I did have a class that I taught, um, it went well. Actually, it did not go well. It was kind of an epic disaster, but we were able to salvage it and everyone left happy. Um, and it was it it was good. I was, you know, everyone left happy. It was, I, I shouldn't say epic disaster, just a couple of things went wrong. So, but um, I was able to hold it together and not freak out and, you know, kids will teach, teach you that lesson real quick. You gotta hold it together. So, um, then let's move into personal life and I'll cover homeschool at the end. Um, personal life, we had a pretty good month. We, um, went on our very last Disney trip for, um, our passes that we had and we've decided to take, uh, the year off of them right now, um, and they're normally Christmas presents and we decided to do something different this year for Christmas. Um, and so we took our last trip and it was bittersweet. I was really, you know, we had a great time. It was a fantastic trip. We, it was really busy. Um, that week that we went is the, like, it's the first, second week in February, like that window. Um, we've been that year three years in a row now, and it used to be, the reason why we've always chosen that week is because it used to be statistically like a very low time of um, people going. And it is the total opposite now. Um, and it was crazy busy, like crazy busy. So many people. So we didn't necessarily get to do all the things we wanted to do as our last trip, but we got to do a lot of them. Um, and it was fun, but I will never go that week again. <laughs> um, it's my niece's birthday, and that's typically why we've gone that week. And I told her, listen, we can, I told my sister, I was like, listen, we can celebrate her birthday here, but it cannot be her birthday week anymore. I'm not coming. Um, just lots and lots and lots of people. But we had a good time. It was a lot of fun. We got, it was the, it was, ironically, it was the, the first time that all the cousins went all the cousins have had passes but we haven't all necessarily gone at the same time so it was it was all the cousins um so it was eight kids and three adults which we were a little crazy thinking we could <laughs> do that but it went well oh we they have this new like art of animation um like art, drawing classes that you can take i'm gonna get them and show you guys because they were it was so fun so anyways they give you like this blank paper i don't know if you guys can see it's got like blue lines on it and those are like your your guidelines um and then you they tell you like they walk you through how to how to draw something um and we actually did it twice because the kids had so much fun like even my even my four-year-old I'm gonna show you hers because I know she won't care but look at her little it's this is Flick from um Bugs Life and so it was so cute she did so good she did both of them even my six-year-old had had enough after the first one but she did both of them and she did so good it was so cute she um, didn't make it through the whole thing like she kind of went rogue on her own and then colored um, but it was so fun and this is what I drew guys like look at that I was like this I, I finished it and I was like this is the best thing I've ever drawn in my whole entire life and the cast member standing right there he just started chuckling because I was so impressed with myself um, and we did share con too this one I don't is not as good as as the flick was but um, it was a lot harder that one was a lot harder 
but it was so much fun. So if you do go to Disney, I highly recommend that. It's at Animal Kingdom, and you have to take it. You have to. It's over at the Rafiki's whatever we always called it the petting zoo because there's a petting like area there um where they have like sheeps and cows and donkeys and stuff that you can go pet um <clears throat> but uh it was so cool I was it was so fun and so um I had been trying to convince my kids to take drawing lessons for a long time and they've been super resistant to it but now that they've taken that they were like okay maybe we do want to try some drawing lessons so it was a super fun experience super super fun time um super busy but like I'll, I'll never go that week again, so don't go that week. <laughs> but anyways, the rest of the month was just basically um, co-op and the kids' um, soccer season just wrapped up. At, uh, this last Saturday was their last um, game of the year, and it was so fun. They had such great experiences um, with it this time. It's kind of hit or miss when, you, when you're doing it with the City League, um, and this time we got pretty lucky. Um, my husband ended up coaching for my my son my youngest but um my youngest one that played soccer <laughs> um but other than that it was um that it was so they had it they did so good um my some my oldest daughter's team just like was a whole different team from the beginning to the end they did so amazing learned so much um and the kids had a really good time this year so i was really glad about that and then other than that, it's just been um, co-op and homeschool at home. And we've been pretty successful about getting um, homeschool at home done for the most part, like once we got back from Disney. Um, and so things have been cruising right along. I guess that's my segue into um, how homeschool is going. Uh, we are kind of just, I think we're finally reached that like, point where after the new year we're finally back into things um so you know things are getting done pretty well pretty quickly um and we're starting to add in more of those um the extras that we have so we've done a lot of history and science lessons this um uh, this month and uh working on just getting you know building back up our full repertoire um if you haven't been around you don't know like after a break I like to do things like slowly so we add you know we go back to the essentials and then maybe the next week we'll add something else in and then maybe the next week we'll add something else in so um it's been going pretty well around here in that respect um now we're gonna of course derail ourselves <laughs> um the day I'm filming this I'm packing to go out of town um for a trip <laughs> for my birthday um because my birthday is in uh, March and I will be turning 40 um and so that I am having a trip with my all, like all the girls in my family um, which I'm super excited about so uh, that I have coming up and then I get back and two weeks later we leave for New York uh, my husband is doing another marathon there this year um, and we're celebrating um, a friend of ours birthday at that same time and it will be in New York for my actual birthday like the day my actual birth date um, and so we're really looking forward to that trip but that's two trips um, in the month and, in, and it's spring break so our public school friends will be out of school so we'll probably see them more and it, so we're probably just going to derail all the good work we've been doing um, but it will be alright we'll get back to it um, as you if you don't know we are year round homeschoolers so we just you know we the reason why is so that we can factor in all these like trips and derailments and and things that get off get us off our groove um, and we have time to adjust and put them back into our groove um, and then we just keep going through the summer so that we make up any of that stuff that we didn't get to so I as far as curriculum, how like our curriculum stuff is going, everything is going pretty well. Um, if you didn't hear, we dropped spelling connections and I've added um, sequential spelling for both of my older girls. Um, they are, so now we're doing that, you know, they do it separately, they're on different levels, but um, they're, we're working on that now. We've added that into our schedule. Um, and but everything else is going well root words fix it um, Michael Clay Thompson we're really loving that uh, I'm, t the, I'm thinking about my older girls right now um, we've been using Khan Academy for math I do have a video planned um, sometimes in March I think on that uh, and yeah I mean everything with them is, seems to be going pretty good 
Uh, and then with my younger two, we're just, you know, cruising along. Math, they tend to really like math, so we're like really cruising there. Um, pinwheels, we're, we're going pretty slow, um, but it's okay, you know, the extra practice isn't bad for them. And uh, yeah, so I think that is going to be it for my update, kind of short and sweet for you guys today. I, um, if you guys have any questions about anything that we're working on, let me know. Uh, I am working on my um, schedule for my, my videos. Um, so I think I have like one spot left in March and then several in April. So if you guys have anything you'd like me to chat about or talk about, it's about to be that season of prepping for a new school year, even though this one's not done. Um, I think, you know, us, us, content creators we have to do it a little bit earlier than you know really is necessary um just so we can you know get those things out to you but that is what i'm going to be starting to work on um and so you're going to see a lot of stuff coming out for that here pretty soon things that were you know new things we're looking for things we're going to reuse all that kind of stuff so um, if you have any questions about that or anything you want me to cover, maybe a curriculum you saw us, you know, you saw that I was going to use last year and, you know, you want to update or something, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for me today. So I hope you will come back and chat with me again real soon. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.